and I am a Hey guys. Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Whitney Bennett and I am a professional hair and makeup artist based in New York City that likes to share tips and tricks that work for me. Today's video will be based on hair and it is going to be a tool that will help save you with time and it will help save your hair. If this is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned watch the video through and let's get focused so let's go ahead and get right into it i have a model here today she has 4c hair i've been doing her hair for years it's super thick super long um i'm going to show you on her which detangling brush actually works best on natural hair i'm going to start by taking her um, previous protective style down that she's had in for a few weeks by using a detangling spray that I have created eventually I will be selling it I've done a video on how to remove braids which reminds me that I need to do a video on how to remove a protective style but I'll make sure that I put that video of removal from the braids link down below if you don't know how to remove a protective style the yellow brush in this video is the Felicia Leatherwood brush which I absolutely love and this is just the regular beauty supply brush, detangling brush, and then this one is a dimming brush. These are all three of them that I'm showing you. And now we're gonna go into detail on why, which one is the best. This is the dimming brush. You should not use this brush when you're detangling. A lot of people have referenced that this is the best detangling brush and that you should be using it. And it's actually my opinion the worst it has too much tension I will make a video on why you should not be using this brush um, in the next coming weeks but yeah this is a big no-no on detangling your hair all right so let's go ahead and talk about the beauty supply brush on how it's not a great brush or the best detangling brush as you can see the combs arms are very flexible almost too flexible to where it doesn't give you a sturdy grip even though that's what they said this brush is great for you can also see that as i'm taking the comb it's getting caught in her hair i can't comb it through and this should be able to glide through the hair especially since i have applied a detangling spray and oil to the hair i should not be struggling to get this brush through Using this brush is much faster and will help from preventing breakage from your hair than using a comb, I feel like, but it is not the one, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about the Felicia Leatherwood brush that is amazing. As you can see, the combs to this brush are widely spaced perfectly. It makes the bristles very flexible. It has a sturdy grip to the brush, so the bristles actually don't move as you brush through the hair. Um, the handle is perfect for beginners and pros like me. It's just a great sturdy grip brush that you'll be able to move through the hair very easily, as you see that I'm doing in the video. Um, it per it's perfect for anybody with curls or waves. It's just amazing and it definitely helps from breaking the strands and preventing um, excessive hair loss or hair shedding. Look how easy it is for me to glide through this hair. One, two, three, and then twist away. The other brush, I was struggling. You saw it. I did a comparison for you guys on using this brush and 
the beauty supply brush on to see how much hair has actually came out. And definitely Felicia Leatherwood's brush. You barely have hair in the brush when you're done using it. Look at that brush go through that hair. Yes, brush. Yes, for the detangles with this brush. Just nice and easy. And then I'm going to use the other one, Beauty Supply. And look at her. Just stuck. Like I said, horrible. And that's my review on the best detangling brush out there. Make sure you like, subscribe. And you share this channel with your friends. Until next time guys. Peace.